Hi guys, welcome to the Saving Money Show. Me, your host Sean. All right. <clears throat> so there's been a lot of things going around about HCMC, so I thought I'd uh, do another video on it. Uh, basically, as I said before, the trial doesn't conclude on the 26th of February. On the 26th of February uh, is when Philip Morris have to respond by now that means they are supposed to respond with their defense either saying yes we are guilty uh, we acknowledge everything here is our counter proposal or they could say we acknowledge no guilt but we are willing to pay this to settle it or they say sorry we dispute this claim and it or we dispute this claim and we will want to counter sue you for you know defamation of character now they can of course uh, ask for an extension this timeline has been extended time and time again just like the workhorse one <laughs> anyway uh, that's a different video the there has been talk about valuation one analyst has put six dollars a share another analyst has put four dollars a share and a few youtubers are saying how crazy that is and I want to put their thinking bit in the practice of course I don't think if they win it will go to six dollars or four dollars a share but i want to explain to you the reason i know these analysts and i want to explain to you their reasoning behind it because some some of these youtubers they're good youtubers i i love watching myself but uh they don't always do all the background checks don't forget to hit that lovely like button and don't forget the sexy subscribe button, a lot sexier than me, just ask the wife. And if you want to be a hero, hit the bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. And why not check out the links in the description below. If you're looking for a free trading platform, you get a free share with up to 200 pounds, dollars, depending on the platform you use if you deposit a small amount. Uh, why wouldn't you? Yeah. I'll see you in the next video. So, as I said before, this is the time of year when Philip Morris, in order to avoid accusations of stock fraud, allow their board to either acquire or sell shares. And the board members who have sold shares this time around sold them last year. So there's nothing to read into that. The CEO who has bought shares from his SEC filing, you will see price paid for it zero. So he hasn't bought it because he thinks they're going to win. He's bought it because he's given it as part of his remuneration package. Now, Philip Morris has a number of legal cases against them. Being a tobacco company, they would do. So... They either want to get this off their back or they may want to fight it to prove a point. Now, HCMC has a shares outstanding of 105 billion. They have a float of 91.75 billion. And the thing is, you have. You have all kinds of figures going around. Now, Philip Morris has uh, recoup has actually sold 1.65 billion from the vaping product that they have uh, apparently infringed on HCMC's patent, 
And the rumour is, and it is just a rumour, that three billion dollars will be uh, have been spent if they go to court to get this. Now, I'm here to discuss some numbers. Philip Morris uh, set away a court beforehand, be a minimum of 1.65 billion because that's how much they've recouped. You have the possibility that there will be 3 billion on top of that, or a minimum of 3 billion, if, especially if they do go to court. Or it could be the 1.65 billion plus 3 billion, 4.65 billion. So, the thing is, if you are, so let's work off the 1.65 billion, shall we? 1.65 billion, uh, because that seems like the minimum. And I like to be conservative. If we have that, we can see how much how the share is less than a penny each. If they win, as I said, there's plenty of prices being thrown around. I think it can go to a minimum of. I can, it'll go to a minimum of a penny, but I think it will go to at least ten, ten cents a share. I think it could go to 25, some people said 50 cents a share, so I think it could go to between 25 and 50 cents a share. So we start with 10 cents. Now, if you go 10 cents, then the settlement. And we're talking about share buybacks here. Now, if the board uses it as share buyback, it could buy back all the shares. It's not going to do that. Uh, if uh, it goes to 25 cents, it can buy back 6.6 .6 billion worth of shares. Now, It can depending on whether it's one point six five billion, three billion or four point six five billion. And it could knock the float down to eighty five AE or seventy five billion. Now when they take those shares off the market, the share price should rise again. This is should, doesn't mean it will. So this is how it would go from 25 cents to 50 cents. Now, and or if it was already at 50 cents, it would go to a dollar. Now, the reason the analysts have said it could go four to six dollars from this is and this is what could be likely is in order to avoid court Philip Morris may well not just to not just give them a payout but agree a licensing deal as I said this has been a huge earner for Philip Morris. I don't think the board of HMCMC want to be bought out by Philip Morris. Uh, it might be cheaper for Philip Morris to buy them out, but after all the effort they've put in, I think they will. Uh, try something else. Anyway, 
I'm uh, anyway I would like to know what price you got in are you still in and what price you think it will go to I'll see you in the next video